It's time for your Toyota Sports Report. The Beaver River Beavers were one of the top teams in Section 3 Class D in 2022 on the gridiron, and will be looking to make another run at a sectional title this season. Coach Matt Leindecker's Beavers finished 2022 with an 8-2 overall record, 4-0 in Class D West play, and lost to Dolgeville 44-24 in the Section 3 Class D Championship game at the JMA Wireless Dome. Gone are 10 key contributors from last year's team, but Leindecker likes what he sees from this year's group. Well, my expectations are pretty high. I mean, coming the way we finished last year, which, you know, is a great year. To, and anytime you end the season in the Dome, it's, it's a good season. And uh, quite a few kids returning off that team. Um, a lot of skilled guys, you know, quarterbacks back. Uh, handful of receivers, running backs. Putting points on the board shouldn't be a problem for the Beavers once again this season. Derek Zare is back at quarterback to lead the offense. He threw for 1,824 yards and 25 touchdowns in 2022. And receiver Britt Dickub returns as Zare's main target. Uh, our receivers are, uh, I'd say, probably one of the best we got in a while. And I don't feel like any like secondary can uh, stop us. Really, I think we're gonna have like a really high scoring team because I think we have a bunch of good receivers that can just get open anywhere. The team has a chip on their shoulder heading into 2023 after losing to Dolgeville and being denied the chance to advance to the states. Both the players and the coaches say that loss lingered with them throughout the offseason and made them work even harder preparing for the 2023 campaign. Uh, it's sticking with all of us. It, you know, it doesn't feel good but um, we're ready to bounce back and it's really a driving factor into making us better for this year. Yeah, I think so, they, they, and they should be hungry. You know, they got a taste of it last year and I think they kind of realized what it took to get there. So, um, you know, kids are working hard and, you know, hopefully we, we capitalize on it. In order for the Beavers to make a return appearance to the Dome this season, Leindecker says a couple of things have to come together for his team during fall practice. Team chemistry, um, Definitely, we got to be able to block well. Um, that's kind of a big question mark. You know, we lost you know three out of our five starters from the offensive line last season. So, if we can block well, um, I think we can we can move the ball. The Beavers open their 2023 schedule with a road game at Pulaski on Saturday, September 9th at 1 p.m.